Hi uh, guys, we're here with NG-Mobile. We're taking a look at the, well, what else could it be? It is the new iPhone, the iPhone 4 with the iOS, well, iPhone OS 4. Steve Jobs just told us it's called the <laughs> iOS 4. Um, before we get into that, though, a quick little hardware overview. Really slim, really slick. It's actually, uh, this is the white version, and I have the white version of the 3GS right here. Just to compare for you guys, that's what they look like side by side. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's noticeably thinner, not 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 super super uh, noticeable, but definitely in the hand you can definitely feel the thinness. What uh, you also feel the uh, the solid stainless steel construction. It's got the stainless steel bands around the around the the bezel of the casing, which really makes it feel solid and it gives it a really good weight. It's actually heavier than the 3G the 3GS right here. Which has uh, got that plastic backing, but um, so here we go with the stainless steel. We've got the front-facing camera right there. We've got 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there. Power button, of course. The volume rocker right there with the uh, silent switch toggle to go vibrate mode. The uh, volume control keys are actually uh, metallic and they're really, really nice. They got a good clicking feel. And the dock connector right here with the speakers and the back is the back casing is made with the same glass, the hardened glass that's as strong as sapphire crystal as the front of this uh, screen right here. Now, diving into OS 4 a little bit, iOS 4, we double click for a little bit of multitasking, you get all the apps that are running in the background here. I was messing around with iMovie, so it'll launch out right there, pick up where I, where I left off and maybe jump out to whether if I want to go to home, just a single click. Um, a couple new features also are the folders, so no, if I tap there, notice that all the icons are grouped in by new. So it, just to do, to do that, you would just, you know, uh, say, tap this guy and drag him onto that app right there, and all of a sudden, it makes a folder called Lifestyle, and it's automatically named according to the type of app that you put in there. Of course, Twitter and eBay are Lifestyle apps. But press the home button, and you're back at the home, and all of a sudden, you just made a folder with eBay in it. Now. I'm going to drop eBay out of there and just not make a folder because I'll leave it like I, I'll leave it like I found it. Don't want to mess up their demo here. So that's folders. What else is new? We got iBooks. That's cool. We can uh, look through our iBooks just like on the iPad, and uh, everything flips really nice. And what you'll want to notice here is that super super high res, the the 300 plus pixel per square inch density on the screen, the Retina display really makes the text look amazingly smooth. It's like it's printed on paper right there. Um, so that's a look at iBooks. And throughout this whole thing, notice the high res, the, the, the resolution of the display, really crisp, really bright. That's because of the retina display. Um, we also get iMovies, which allows you to create videos on the fly. HD 720p videos that you record with the iPhone, actually. And that's, that's what it looks like. It'll even include And then if you wanted, you could quickly just put a photo into there using the camera. So that's that. And let's take a look at the photos just to show you guys what the high-res display looks like. These are all pictures taken with the, uh, with the iPhone's 5 megapixel camera. Really, really high-res. These are all videos taken with the uh, video camera in 720p. In about 720p uh, resolution. There we go. So that's a quick little look at the iPhone 4.